this video, we will cover how to do calculations with and conversions between units using Python's SymPy library. In particular, we'll cover getting started and importing the units module, finding units and the unit names that SymPy uses in the units module. So you know, how, how do I get uh, kilograms or meters or whatever you happen to want to use? Uh, simplification of units expressions, which, which we'll see when we get there, and Finally, we'll close with how to convert between units. Uh, so how, how to change, for example, something in uh, American imperial units like, like uh, miles to kilometers or how to change, you know, centimeters to meters or whatever you want to do, you know, hours to days. Um, it's, all, it's all very doable and those are just simple examples. But once you see how it's done, you'll be able to use this with more complex expressions. So with that, we'll dive right in. Uh, as you can see, I am running Python 3 from my browser using cocalc.com. And the advantage here is that cocalc already has SymPy installed into its environment, so I don't need to install SymPy separately. But if you're using anything else, no worries. If you, you can follow along just fine, just make sure you download SymPy first for this to work. So you can do that by putting into your terminal pip install SymPy or going to SymPy's website, the link to which will be in the description. But because I'm in CoCalc, I already have SymPy available to me. So I am going to just go ahead and uh, start with importing the part of the SymPy library that I'll be working with, which is the units module. And if you're not familiar with what I mean by import, I would recommend taking a look at our intro to SymPy video, which we'll put a link to in the description, as that goes into importing and different ways to import uh, SymPy or parts of SymPy in depth. But let's uh, go ahead and assume you have some background in importing, and let's import our units module from SymPy and give it the nickname U. And to do that, we will type import simpy.physics.units as u. So what does this do? This imports uh, the simpy.physics.units. Okay, it imports uh, the units module, and this is where it is in simpy. It imports it, and it gives it a nickname. It gives it the nickname u, so that every time now when I type in the letter U followed by a dot, it's going to know I'm referring back to this units module from SymPy. Okay, and we'll run the cell and you can run the cell with shift enter or shift return if you are on a Mac. And there it is, it's imported. So now that we have our units module imported with the nickname U, the main thing that the units module would be used for is that it comes with a number of units that you can write into your expressions like meters, kilograms, hours, days, you know, uh, Planck units, you know, uh, uh, astronomical years. I don't know, like all kinds, all kinds of stuff, right? And so, for example, though, just to keep it simple, say you wanted to write five centimeters using the units module. How do you do it? Well, you would write five times, okay, with the star for times. And then you want to use the unit centimeters. So recall we gave it the nickname U, so that's U dot CM, okay? And so that would be centimeters. And if you run it, you'll see this does in fact spit out five centimeters, okay? So uh, you might be thinking, well, it's all well and good to know that uh, U dot CM is how you would write centimeters, but they're not all you know, units aren't always going to be that obvious. How will I be able to find out what SymPy calls the unit that I want to use in order to use it? Well, the good news is that it's pretty easy, and there's a few ways to find out the names of units in this units module. First, you can always just Google it and look it up in the documentation, and that's often the easiest way to do anything in math or coding, but barring that, uh, you can type in the u dot and then hit tab on your computer. And that is going to show you the range of all the different units that are available to you. And you see there's all kinds. There's, you know, the ones I was mentioning before, there's different kinds of, oh, common year versus, you know, Julian year, right? Um, there's all kinds of things, right? And so you can also start typing. So if you start type, for example, uh, u dot, you hit tab, u dot m, 
and now it's going to start to display all the ones that start with M, okay? And say you really wanted, you know, meters. So M, uh, well, that would be meter right there is M, or you can type it in and get meter or meters. You'll see in a moment they're all the same, right? And so U dot meter, okay, and it's going to spit out that M, okay? You can also get a list of unit names by uh, categorized by the dimension that you're looking for um, with something called find unit. And that's U dot, and here I'm gonna actually add a couple of cells just so I can scroll down. So U dot find underscore unit, and then in quotation marks, let's do length. And that'll give me all of these, um, all these units in length. Okay, all, all the units that measure length, and it's just gonna spit them all out. And you see, you've got you know metric units, you know the SI units, I should say, to be more scientific about it, uh, the imperial units that we use here in the U.S. and all other kinds of things. All right, and you can also do time, you know, just as another example. So you dot find unit time. And you see, here's all of the units that cover time. And you see how it has hour, it has hours. Okay, those are actually gonna be the same. It just builds in, um, as well as H, it just builds in that redundancy to make it a little easier for you. All right, so uh, there are also constants, like the speed of light, which is either U dot C, okay, for the speed of light, or even U dot speed of light, which you'll see is also just going to give you uh, C, and you'll see these are actually the same, so U dot speed of light, and it should spit back true, and it does because the, these are actually the same, just two different ways of writing it. Um, either one will work uh, just as well. All right, um, so let's play with it a little bit. Uh, let's play with this a little bit. Here, I'm just going to uh, delete some of this stuff out to make some space. Okay, so let's go ahead and do three kilograms. So it's three times u dot kilograms. All right, and you run it and you see there it is. Um, and so now what we can do is we can actually store this into a variable. So if we have as our variable, just say expr equals three kilograms, all right, and now U dot kilograms. Okay, uh, so expression equals three times U dot kilograms. And now uh, if I were to run this variable name, you see it's uh, it gives me back the three kilograms. Or I can do this, uh, you know, times two, which should give me six kilograms. And it does, okay? You can play with it. You can store these units inside expressions just fine. It all works well. Uh, we can have expressions with uh, a number of different units. By default, SymPy will not condense these, even if they're compatible with each other. So, for example, uh, you know, and, and it also might not keep everything in the order that you write it in. So, I'll show you an example. Uh, if we have three times u dot kilograms plus 700 times u dot grams, Okay, uh, you see it actually flipped the order on me, but I mean, it's the commutative property of addition, so it doesn't matter, but it did not keep the order I wrote it in. Um, and it did not condense these, even though these these are you know very compatible units, it, it left uh, the units as I wrote them, okay? So you might think, well, these can go together. Uh, why, why didn't the computer combine these? I wanted them to be combined, okay? Well, if you want them to be combined, one way to do that, um, which works well if you have something like this where it's very com the units are very compatible, is to uh, do simplify, all right? So if you don't remember simplify, uh, uh, do check out um, the intro to SymPy video uh, where we go into it in, in great depth, so I won't belabor it here, but let's just go ahead and uh, let's make our variable expression uh, this instead, okay, and then expr dot simplify, all right, and that's going to simplify the expression. What's stored in the expression is this, so it's going to simplify it, and that will uh, kind of condense it into one simple unit, which here is 3,700 
programs. All right, and so that's that's kind of the long and short of using units, getting units, finding out what units are, and uh, putting them in expressions. You can obviously, um, you know, look at importing symbols and putting in symbols in your expressions. So you have x grams plus, you know, y, you know, kilograms, you know, or, or whatever you want to do. Um, all the principles from my intro to SimPy video will carry over and you can, you can use, you know, the expressions that have units using all of those principles. But just so I uh, don't repeat everything that's in that video, I'm going to show you one last thing that is uh, unique to this units module, and that is conversion. So you can convert from one unit to another, uh, so, long, so long as the dimensions you're dealing with are compatible with each other, of course. Um, and there's a couple of ways you can do this. One is with, uh, if you do u dot convert underscore two, all right, and then this is the function convert two, and inside these parentheses, let's uh, convert, uh, let's go ahead and convert miles, which is a common unit of distance um, where, where I'm from in the US, to kilometers, which is a more typical unit of distance uh, pretty much everywhere else. Uh, so let's do u.convert2, and then inside the parentheses, let's put our original value. Let's do 200 miles, okay, u.miles, um, and then comma, and then our target unit, which uh, in our case is going to be kilometers, u.km. So we're doing u.convert2, all right, is our function. The first argument is uh, our, our value that we have already comma, and then our second argument is whatever um, unit of measure we want to convert that to. And if we run it, and what does it show us? Well, it keeps it as this fraction. And if you recall uh, from the Intro to SimPy video, SimPy will not convert our fraction to a decimal value unless we tell it to. And here, we really don't want this fraction. This is not a useful, uh, this, this is not meaningful to a human being, right? Really. So. What do we do? Well, uh, if you recall, we can just do dot n parentheses and that'll convert it to a decimal value. And we find out that 200 miles is in fact uh, 321 and change kilometers. So alternatively, uh, we can do u dot convert to in a different way. Uh, we can start with a quantity we have, which in this case is 200 miles, and then do dot convert to. Okay, notice I didn't put in the u here because I already have the u here, so I don't need it. Um, in fact, I, I don't think it would work if you put a, a u here. So it's 200 u dot miles dot convert to parentheses, and then our target unit in parentheses, um, and this time we will need the u, so u dot kilometers. Um, and then let's do the dot n as well. And there it is, same result, different way of writing the same thing. So the first way was we made this as a function and we um, did one argument, comma, you know, which is our units, or, or one argument, which is our value, comma, and then the units we wanted, and then put in this dot n parentheses to make it a decimal. This other way is to take our uh, value with miles and then dot convert to and then our target uh, units here and then the dot n just to make it a uh, decimal value. All right, and you see it's the same result, two different ways of writing the same thing. All right, let's show you one more example. Uh, let's do one with time instead of distance just to show you that you can also do time. Uh, just uh, let's just do three, you know, days. So that's three u dot days dot convert to u dot hours, um, you know, and so it's going to say, well, how many uh, hours are there in three days? And it's 72, uh, which, which makes perfect sense. And so just another simple example, and you could do, uh, you can write this other way as well. It'll work just fine. And so that about wraps it up for this video on units and unit conversions with Python SimPy. Uh, if you got value out of it, please do leave it a like, and I want to thank you very much for watching.